it's it's bittersweet. It's it's something that, um, you know, you, you, when we've you know there was no such thing as Uncharted One. Yeah. It was Uncharted Drake's fortune, and it was something that you have no idea what that's what it's going to become. Uh, you know, you go in, you do the job, and to see what it has grown into, the fact that we're celebrating the first three games before the fourth one is out um, because they've remastered it. You know, it's just, it's, uh, it's humbling and it's, uh, it's very validating because it, this was the first role that I was given uh, and it was fortunate enough to be the, the lead character of and to be able to, and I was invited from day one to instill as much of myself into this character as possible. And, uh, you know, so his, his sense of humor, many of his quips are ad-libs, um, uh, which, and I always like to qualify that, the scripts have always been brilliantly written. Um, and, uh, you know, that, and I, I've said this before that, you know, Amy Hennig, who was the creative director and the writer and creator of Uncharted for the first one, two, and three for this Nathan Drake collection, um, was someone who trusted me with this and, and and she she and I became very close very good friends and she learned my voice and she took her brilliance and talent as a writer and then incorporated my voice because she got to know me so well and, and as she did with Emily Rose as Elena Richard McGonagall as Sullivan and pretty much all the characters she got to know got to got to write for but especially for me she was able to write things and then we'd sit and tweak you know, people give me too much credit, I think, sometimes for the ad-libbing when this was so well written and we would might tweak a little word here or there or something little added in. And, um, you know, so it, it, it was a truly collaborative experience. It was, a, it was teamwork. It was friendship. It was, it was, you know, not to sound too uh, hokey, but it was, it, was, it was heart and love. And I think that's really what made this so special you know she created a character and and helped me raise that character that um is the everyman is the underdog is uh, is beloved by men and women alike uh because he just like like all of us you m me in life we're just trying our best you know it, no matter what we do we're trying our best and when circumstances are thrown at us whether it's you know uh, Lazarevich coming at you in a, in a Tibetan hound, you, he's just going to try to get through and do his best to get to the thing, whether it's challenges we face. We're just, you know, sometimes life throws, you know, throws some mud in our way and you, you got to figure out if you're just going to take it or you're going to wipe it off and keep going. And I think that's, uh, that's the character she was able to create and I was able to, to help along. And uh, it, it became so relatable to so many people that, um, you, know, that you know, here we are celebrating it. The interesting thing about it is um, my performance is so much more enhanced by what Naughty Dog brings to it. Again, it's a collaborative process and when Naughty Dog puts these animators and these programmers and these artists, you know, my performance is just one part of the entire thing. Um, and while I get a lot of praise for it, while I get to speak with journalists and you guys throwing cameras up, and that's great. I have to credit the, 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 the guys and, and, and girls, at, the, the men and women at, at, at Naughty Dog, who made this possible. Because without them, th th there is no performance. There's no such thing. Um, so, you know, we, uh, you know, I, I look back and, and I, you know, when I do it in the mocap suit, the performance, it's in a suit in a big gray room and we're just using our imagination. It's as much a thrill for me to see it, you know, animated and put up uh, as it is for everybody else. It's sometimes it's the first time I get to see it. Um, I've only seen a couple minutes of footage from the remastered edition. I haven't even seen it, you know. And then I meet people who've played through it in, in a demo level and they're like, oh my gosh, it's amazing. And, you know, it's so, again, validating, rewarding that people are still enjoying it. Um, and they hold up. And ultimately, it goes back to great writing. Great writing always holds up, um, whether it's a film, a television program, or a game. Um, I was telling someone earlier that, you know, I, I, I've just been so lucky that I've been the guy who's been able to go from starting out when, when voices weren't really big in games to here we are, you know, where it's much more of a cinematic 
experience. And the difference between this and film is, two hour film, you go in, you watch, you're, you're outside, you're that fourth wall, you're the audience, you watch, wow, that was a great film, let's go get something to eat. In a game, you're in it for hours. You are the hero. And the great thing is I've, I've been able to meet people um, who will play this game and come to me and go, I feel like I'm having that experience. Uh, I've met a, 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 a number of people uh, with their parents. Uh, there was a young man in Toronto I met recently and uh, he was confined to a wheelchair. And uh, I think he had a pretty severe cerebral palsy. Uh, but he can still work the machine. And his mom had tears in her eyes saying, he gets to, he'll never walk, he'll never do these adventures, but he gets to go on these adventures with you. And he does these things. And she said, that, she said, I can't thank you enough for what you helped create. And when you, th when you meet people like that, when you know that there's more people out there, it becomes more than just a video game. It makes me angry when people say, well, video games are no good for society. It's like, no, for some people, it is their window to, um, to the world, to, the, to civilize, to, to, to actually experience things. And um, it's pretty powerful, you know? I, and I never really real, realized it until I, I was fortunate enough to have this be so popular and get out there and meet people. Because it's, um, you know, in a strange way, it's been a life-changing experience for me as a person and as an actor. I've become a better actor because of Uncharted. Uh, the interaction with other, the motion capture, I've learned so much. But to, to what, what's most rewarding for me at this point in my life is that to know that what we did, what we created in this Nathan Drake collection changed other people's lives, made people's lives a little bit better. And, and it's not something I take lightly. I think that's, I think that's something you, you should, you know, you remember those things and um, you know, again, it sounds hokey, but it feeds your soul. It means, okay, you know, I, I'm only going to be here for a short time in, in, the, in the perspective of, of the world. And, and I'm, you know, the idea that it made somebody, you know, that, that what we created made somebody's life a little better. Wow, that's, that's it, it's, you know, I, I had no idea I was ever going to do this growing up. And, and here we are. You know, it's like, I, I, I just... I say thanks every day. You know, it's it's and I and it's not, you know, it, it's just it's true. It's just it, this is amazing. I cannot believe right now we're doing this. A lot more going to to motion capture, performance capture, whatever you want to call it. Um, it is very interactive. There's a lot of you know different uh, people uh, involved. But yeah, there are a lot of games where it, you're just in the booth. You're just doing the voice. Uh, sometimes they find it less expensive to. Uh, do the motion capture with stunt performers or other actors and then you go in and you're just putting the, the voice and you know that's the uh, I think that's the interesting thing that you know um, it, it's usually just a cost of they have to decide in their budget what they want to do is it more cost efficient um, because you know it, it it's not will the product be a little better Probably, yeah. Um, I know Assassin's Creed, I did characters that I never did the motion capture for, but I did the voice. Um, and the voices of some of the other characters were all done by stunt performers. Um, Uncharted does use stunt performers for some of the things that, uh, quite frankly, I can't do. Um, uh, but, uh, you know, just like if we, we shoot this, Uncharted has always been shot more like a film set than, than any game I've ever done. Uh, and I've done some great games, and, and some are just voice. Uh, Destiny, for example, now is just is, is simply just uh, is all is all just in the booth voice. Of course, I couldn't. There's no way I can possibly capture physically performance capture the, the ghost as I can't float. But um, you know, there's there's um, every game is different. Every game has its own challenges. Sometimes you don't need performance capture. Um, I, I think there'll be more games where the actors will try and schedule providing the actors will be in the booth together, you know, on separate mics, being able to talk to each other. That's how we've always done animation. We've done cartoons that way. We'll have a cast record for, uh, you know, and, and it's one of, it's so much fun. I mean, to sit, I did, uh, for example, Transformers Prime was a cartoon I did uh, with Frank Welker and Peter Cullen. I mean, the Megatron and the you know, Optimus Prime. And you're sitting there in the room talking to them, you know, and hearing those voices coming back at you, and it's, you know, you get goosebumps. I don't care how old you are, you know, just, uh, 
it's 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 really cool. So, I, I, performance capture is, is is here to stay. Who knows what's next, though? Yeah. I mean, um, virtual reality. People have been talking about. Will that be next? I I, I don't know. Um, again, I just I just hope they they keep inviting me to the party. That's about it.